No, you're a fool. Gwen? Teresa has been lying to you for weeks. Everyone knows it. I mean, where do you think she's been sneaking off to while Jonathan was sick? I didn't go anywhere. Oh, no? Well, your mother happens to think that Teresa is cheating on you with another man, and I think Ivy's right. I mean, you know, why else sneak up to the cabin? Listen to me. You're dead wrong, okay? She came up here to be alone. There is no one else here. Oh, really? Then what was that? What was what? But don't tell me you didn't hear that. No, no, wait, wait, wait. What? What? I mean, I... I is there, I'm I, sorry, is there someone in there? Is there? Uh, what you've done? You attacked me. Oh, well, you deserved it. I'm going in there. No, Ethan, no. Oh, Ethan cannot come in here. If he sees little Ethan, he's going to know that he's Jonathan's liver donor. Ooh, and then even Ethan will figure out that little Ethan is his son. No, we cannot let that happen. What is going on here? Uh, it's obvious, right? I mean, she's hiding something again, or someone. No! Teresa, who's in the bedroom? Who is in there? This is what home means, Kay. Being with you. I've missed you so much. We'll never be parted again. together now with the rest of our lives ahead of us. This is real, Kay. You and me, forever. No tricks. Are you mad? You strike me, Alistair Crane? You can't run away from you pay for this. I swear you will pay for this. Oh. Oh God, am I conscious? What is? Oh, what is this awful feeling? I must have fallen. Oh God, I must have knocked myself sober. Oh. Uh. What the hell is going on here? Huh? Look at you. I finally caught you, you bastard. And then the act, too. Huh? What have you done to her? Get out of my house, Bennett. Yeah, like hell I will. Esme, are you all right? Huh? Did he try to hurt you? Huh? But never mind. It's obvious. Oh. Guess what? You're under arrest for murdering your son, Chad Harris. And for attacking Esme Vanderhusen. Now turn around. You are so beautiful. All that time I was away, I was so confused. And sometimes I was afraid. Then I think of you and my heart would lift. All I could think about was getting you home. Thinking about our reunion was about the only thing that kept me sane. No, it, it's, it's, it's not what you think. Isn't that what she always says? Oh, shut Who's up! Who's in the bedroom, Teresa? Who is it? I am... Um... Oh, that's it. What, whatever. Hello? Who's in there? What are we gonna do? Not that. But, but, well, then I don't know. Because if Ethan comes in here and sees little Ethan, then he's going to figure it out. And then I'm going to have to call that woman down in Mexico, and you and your family will be dead. All right, well, if that little brain of yours still works, think of something to do. No, no, what are you doing? What are you don't doing? Break the door down. No, don't do that. Don't. Am I? Am I? You swore you were here alone. 
I am. All right, then come off it. Who's in there? Look, I, what happened in there? It, it doesn't really matter. Don't give me that. You said you were done lying, Teresa. I am. Really? Then who's in there? A bunch of ghosts? I miss this. Oh, my dreams are finally coming true. You're back. Ugh. I can't begin to imagine what you've gone through. Although life around here has been no picnic, let me tell you. All oh, the things that I've done. I had no idea all the stress I was feeling until now. Gosh, it feels like this, this heavy burden has just been lifted. Oh, I feel so light I could float. You probably could. The witchcraft? No. Actually, you know what? Levitation is very advanced. I can't do that yet. Maybe one day, but not yet. You know, when um, you walked out earlier, after you remembered that I was a witch. And Tabitha and Endora, all three of you, yeah. Well, that's going to take some getting used to, I'm sure. But trust me, when I found out, I was floored. Anyway, when you left, I just thought that I lost you. But you came back. And you're here, and I have you, and, and we have Maria, and now we can, we can finally be the family we've always wanted to be, and we can start making our wedding plans. It's just going to be amazing. Everything is just perfect. What's wrong? Perfect isn't exactly the word that comes to mind for me. There's something wrong. Something big, and we have to talk about it right now. Oh, you can't arrest me. I've been stabbed. Oh, that's what's different about you. You didn't have that knife sticking out of your back before. I would have noticed, I think. I think I'm dying here. You look pretty healthy to me. Oh, God. Oh, God, I am in desperate need. Of medical attention. Don't worry, okay, because the prison doctor will check you out. You can't take me to jail. Get me an ambulance. I could die here any moment. You know what? You're in good hands. I have taken plenty of emergency medical classes, so uh, let me check that out here for a second. <sighs> ah! Oh, God, that had to hurt. Oh, I'll have your head for that. It looks like a, a simple flesh wound to me. Oh, thank you very much, Dr. Bennett. Well, let me see if I can figure out how deep the wound was. Oh, oh I, I'm sorry. Did that hurt? Isn't it? Just remember, if you ever called to testify, uh, the arresting officer, me, was just trying to assess the defendant's medical condition. I like to help you out, but um, he's he's really old, you know. But wasn't that a little sadistic? I think. Just... Look, the only sadist in this room is the one in cuffs. What you said, that we'd be together forever. We will. It made me realize something, Kay. We can't be together forever. We can't be together at all. Wait, what? It's impossible. Not if you're going to be a witch. You know how much I love well, cut you. Cut it, cut it out. Cut the bull, all right? There's one thing I want to talk about. Who's in the room? Come on, we got to go. We can't leave little Ethan. Let's go. Uh, he's sedated and unconscious. Okay, then throw him in a bag and let's go. Uh, excuse me. My grandson just had major surgery. He can't be moved. Okay, then. Then we gotta get Ethan out of here before he finds out the truth. Wait, wait, I don't even know what you're talking about because because I'm here and I'm alone. What? Yeah, there's nobody in there. I mean, nobody should be in there. Is that the truth? Then what caused that big crash we just heard, huh? I don't, I don't know. You don't know? No. 
Oh, maybe there's burglars in there, huh? Let's go see. Huh? No, 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 I don't want you to. No, what is, no, you could get hurt. You could, I mean, what, what, I mean, they could have a gun. What? Let's call the police then. No, what do you no, say? No, don't call the police. What is going on here? Tell me the truth. I want to know right now. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, I, I, I'm not going to do this anymore. You, you want to go in there, you go in there. The key, the key's in that box right there. And then all this is going to be over with once and for all. Oh, no. She's blown it. Ooh, I hope your estate can pay for so many funerals. Yeah, hey, it's uh, Chief Bennett up in the library. Can you send up uh, Alistair's doctor? He's got a little flesh wound. Yeah, thanks. So, it's not much of an emergency after all. Your wound doesn't seem too serious. It hurts. Good. I don't mean to interrupt, Chief, but um, where'd you come from? <laughs> you just appeared. <laughs> well, Alistair's been in hiding, but we all know he's been back in town. I had one of my informants. Uh, actually, it was uh, someone from your staff actually called me and told me you were here, so I came up to arrest you for Chad's murder. Mm. You're never going to pin that one on me. Oh, <laughs> don't be silly. Uh, let me see. We have four witnesses. Uh, there's, there's Teresa, Rebecca, Gwen, Whitney. As a matter of fact, I just spoke to Whitney on the phone, and she said she'd be willing to come back from Louisiana to testify at your trial. And the fact that I caught you attacking Esme, well, just things are getting worse for you. I assume you stabbed him in self-defense? That little hussy did not stab me. I didn't. Of course you didn't. Yeah. Well, now that you mention it, you know, I don't think I did. Okay, well, if uh, Esme didn't stab you, Alistair, then who did? You know, this wouldn't be necessary if you would just tell me the truth. What difference does it make? Go in. See for yourself. Wait, Ethan, wait. What? Wait, wait, wait. Just stop. I, I want to get to the bottom of this. What? Do you know what's going to happen if you go in there? You're going to kill Pilar and her family. What are you talking about? Think about the shame. I mean, God, when the media gets hold of this. What? Isn't it crystal clear? No, it's not crystal on? clear, Gwen. What? I'm sorry. But I think your mother's been right all along. The reason Teresa is so nervous about you going in there is because she has another man in the bedroom. You know, Teresa, you just can't keep playing these games forever. You may as well just admit it. It's such a shame, though, because it's going to kill your mother. Gwen, look, I know that's what it may seem like, but I, I won't believe that for a minute. Ethan, look, if you don't believe it, you're a fool because it's it's staring you in the face. Come on, another man? No way. Look, Teresa? Teresa? I'm sorry. I know it hurts. But listen, I mean, think of all the other men who've come before. How dare you? Teresa, come on. Ethan, it explains everything. I mean, the reason she's so nervous is because there's another man in the bedroom. Teresa, this is true. Mm. You know, for once, your mother was actually right. I mean, the lies, the deceptions, I mean, the way she's been ducking out on her responsibilities. What other possible explanation could there be? Your daughter just about called my Teresa a whore. Oh, I know. Oh, isn't she marvelous? No, no, not after, not after everything we've been through, not after what you told me at the Blue Note. You tell me that she's wrong. You can't be cheating on me with another man, right? Tell me she's wrong. The fact that you're a witch bothers me. It really bothers me, but it, I guess I can live with that. What I can't live with is magic. No way. I mean, no one likes ultimatums, but there can't be any discussion about this. If you continue to use magic, we're over. Period. My, that doctor was quick. Mm. They only hire the best. But he smiled when he saw me in the handcuffs. I'll make him pay for that. You know, Alistair, the whole world will smile when they see you in those cuffs. 
Well, did you see who stabbed you? I have no idea. Remember, I was stabbed in the back. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. What about you? Can you tell me what went on in here tonight? Um, it's hard to explain. Okay. What about we take it from the top, okay? Okay. I come running in. Yeah. Okay. And I find you on the floor with barely a stitch on. Uh-huh. Okay. Alistair has a knife in his back. Right. Now, something must have led up to that moment. Now, did he attack you or not? It, it didn't really start out that way. Esme, did the man try to rape you? No, I fell and I hit my head. Esme, you don't have to worry about him, okay? He can't hurt you. Now tell me, what went on in here tonight? Nothing. You know, if there was a crime being committed, I, I trust that you tell the police about it. Of course I would. I always make it my policy to cooperate with the police. Okay. And then how about, like, right now? Because I need some answers. You know, I'll buy the fact that you're... You're the victim here. But uh, maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. I mean, after all, you leave a trail of dead bodies wherever you go. But I did not stab Alistair. Well, someone stabbed the old man in the back. Now, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I don't know. I was passed out. I, I fell and I hit my head and I don't remember a... Th a th except that... You cried out something. Yeah, you, you, you saw someone, and, and you were surprised by their identity. I heard, I remember. Yeah, I heard you shout out something when I was running into the library. Wait a second. You know, don't you? You know who stabbed you. Alistair, hey, what's going on here? Why won't you tell us who stabbed you? Teresa, you say something right now. Well, maybe there is nothing to say. You know, sometimes when, you're, when your number's up, it's up. Just stay out of this, Gwen. Oh, come on. Why don't you tell the truth for once in your life? Tell Ethan about the man in the bedroom. I thought you were evil. But your daughter? She's the devil. She knows it, that is, I can't deny anything she's saying. She can't open this door and tell Ethan the truth. Because mm. if she does, you and your whole family will be murdered. Oh. Oh, my Gwenny is a genius. There's got to be some explanation here, right? Ethan, I mean, she came up here for a secret rendezvous with another man. Please, defend yourself. You can look at her. I mean, look at her face. She can't. She can't lie her way out of this one. I mean, come on. Think about how bizarre her behavior has been lately. I mean, a lover explains everything. Look, I don't want to hurt you, but don't you think you need to just, like, face up to this? She has another man stashed in there. My poor Teresa. Gwen has her backed into a corner. I know. Oh, I wish we could break out the champagne. I need to hear this from you, okay? So spare me the indignity of breaking the damn door down and tell me, is Gwen right? Do you have another man in that bedroom? Magic causes nothing but unhappiness. You know, that's not true. Because I'm actually a good witch. And all the magic that I do is good. I use it to protect people. Maybe that's what you think, Kay, but I know. I was there with Endora. Wherever that place was, I saw the kinds of things that went on, all right? It was foul. Now, you may think you're a good witch, but you're part of a world that is filled with evil. 
You mean sort of like this world? Because even here in Harmony, there are plenty of good people and bad people. And I'm one of the good guys, so doesn't that make a difference to you? Explain yourself, Alistair. Why are you so reluctant to name your attacker? That's not like you. Normally, if someone as much as touches you, you want to see them hanged. I've got nothing to say to you, Bennett. The only person I'm going to talk to is my lawyer, and that's my right, isn't it? Fine. You know, I'm tired of talking to you. I came here to arrest you for Chad's murder, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now get up, because you're going to jail. What about the SMA? What? What about me? She didn't stab you. That's right, she didn't. She set me up. She's an accomplice. What are you talking about? Well, she's the black widow of Harmony, isn't she? Every lover she's had ends up dead. She set me up to die. Okay, listen to yourself. Magic, witchcraft, flying on brooms. That isn't the case I know and love. Yes, maybe it makes a difference. You're a good witch, I guess. But it's totally unnatural. Unnatural? I was born with these powers. How, how can that be unnatural? This is racial profiling. You know that, right? You're prejudiced against oh, witches. Give me a break. Look, okay, I love you, but I don't love this part of you. Think about all the weird things that have happened in Harmony that I know are because of magic. The meteorite, the Prombo disaster, a portal to hell opening up in Charity's closet. None of that would have happened if it weren't for magic. I know, but I, I can't just change, Miguel, because you want me to. I'm a witch. What do you want me to do? Just stop. Don't do it anymore. How? Magic doesn't happen on its own, does it? You have to take action to do it, right? Well... Yeah. Okay, then it should be easy. You take a sacred oath to me that you'll never use magic again. For what? Or we have to say goodbye. It's a pretty serious charge there, Alistair. Would you have any proof that Esme sets you up to be murdered? <sighs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, because uh, I didn't have anything to do with this, Chief Bennett. Liar. I know Alistair said he knew all about my history, and he didn't mind, and he would be with me anyway. So you did try to seduce him? Well, I, you know, I just couldn't help myself. I have a thing for old... der... men. You know, in fact, this one time... Forget it. I... Really? Because I don't want to hear it. I'm gonna get Alistair off to jail, have the crime scene boys get in here and uh, sweep the room for clues. See if we can find out who attacked the old bastard so we can give him a medal. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, honey, uh, what are you doing up? Oh. Um, yeah, um, uh, Mr. Crane was attacked, but, uh, everything's all right now. He's fine. Oh, but the handcuffs are just, um, you know, he and Chief Bennett are just playing a little game. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi. It's from Vicky, right? Vicky. Vicky. Hey, um, did you see anyone running through the corridors of the, of the mansion in, like, the last 10 to 15 minutes? This person could have been dangerous. Could have been the person who attacked Alistair Crane. Look, I just have to know. So is what Gwen said true? No more lies, all right? Is there another man in the bedroom? Yes. Gwen's right. There's another man in the bedroom.
This, this can't be true, right? You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't do something like this to me, would you? I'm so sorry you had to find out like this. After everything you said and all the promises you made, I can't believe you would do this to me. I'm sorry if I sound really, really stupid right now. You trying to tell me that the, the man in the bedroom is a lover of yours? Yes. Dios Santo. My past is destroying my daughter's future. <laughs> and my daughter's future is looking up. Uh, then I guess there's only one more question that I need to ask you about the guy in the bedroom. The man in there, do you, do you love him? Miguel, I have never known you to be so unyielding. You spend four months surrounded by evil, and we'll see how fond you are of magic. But you don't know what I can do. I, I can make our lives so much better, and the lives of everyone we love. I mean, on a practical level, I can give us a big house, nice cars, everything we want. Okay, no, I don't need any of that stuff. I want a normal life. Home, kids, a job where I work hard and earn money. I don't want anything I haven't earned. I don't want someone to just wave a magic wand and make everything easy. If you can't live like that, I understand. But I can't live a life of magic. I won't. So I guess it's up to you. My love for you is obviously the strongest magic I know. Compared to that, nothing else means anything. So, if you really want me to give up magic, then I will. So, I promise I will never do magic again. No. Vicky says she didn't hear or see anything unusual tonight. Oh, must have been a slow night at the Crane Mansion. You know, usually it will, yeah, you know. Trust me. <laughs> All right. So let's hear it, old man. Who attacked you? <sighs> Let me be. Fine. Your choice. If you don't, then I do manage to track down your attacker. I'll make sure that you're both put in this cell together so that uh, he or she can get another crack at you. I wouldn't mind sparing the town the cost of your trial. You. No, but why? Why are you killing all of us men's boyfriends? Giving up magic will be worth it. We can pick up right where we left off. Have the life we've always been dreaming about. Well, as long as I have you, that's all I need to make me happy. I'll work hard. I will make sure you are always taken care of. I'll do whatever I have to. It'll be great. Normal life. Normal wife. Normal daughter. Oh, whoa, wow. Oh. Uh -oh. What? What is it? Maria? Tell me the truth, Kay. Is she a witch? Come on, Teresa. I'm a, I'm a big boy. I can take it. The guy in the bedroom, do you, uh... you love him? Of course she loves the other guy in the bedroom. It's little Ethan, their son. When you set this up perfectly, oh, soon Ethan will be yours forever. Yeah. And you love the guy in the bedroom. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself. 
Everything I believed, everything I thought has turned out to be a joke. No. I'll be okay. No, it's not going to be okay. I've been, I've been living in some fool's paradise, apparently. And I don't understand. I'm going to need some kind of an explanation, because after everything we've gone through, how could you just stab me in the back like that, huh? You've been playing me this whole time? All the tearful moments, all the times you've asked for forgiveness, all the times you told me you loved me, it was a, it was a lie, right? It's just not what you think. Will you talk to me then, please, and tell me? What am I supposed to think, huh? You've been leading me on? Please answer me. Say something, Kay. You're making me nervous here. I mean, Maria can't be a witch, right? Honestly, Miguel, I, I don't know. But she could be. Oh, my God. What about Jessica? Or Noah, or your father? Well, I don't know about Jessica, but as far as I know, it's only the females in my family that inherit the gift. Some gift. You're telling me my baby girl could be a witch. <sighs> the woman I'm about to marry is a witch. My daughter could be a witch. That's a lot to digest. I know. And since we're being honest with each other, then... I just want to say this. I love you. And I want to spend every moment of my life with you. But I'll understand if you just want to walk away. Okay. No, I mean it. I mean, you've been through hell. Literally. And I, and I can promise you that I'm not going to do magic, but, but I can't guarantee that it's going to be out of my life forever. I mean, look, being married to me, it... it it's going to give you a lot of problems that, that most guys never dream of having. <laughs> so, I understand if, if you don't want to be married to a witch. It's going to hurt me a lot, but, but I'll understand. I don't know any other way to put it. I mean, what happened? Wasn't I, wasn't I man enough for you or what? I don't understand it. I mean, unless you've been lying to me every day for the last eight years. Would that really surprise you? Yeah, it would. I can't explain. All I can do is ask you to trust me. Believe me when I tell you that I Enough. love I don't, you. No, I don't, want to, I don't want to hear that right now. By all means, I should go in there. I should break that door down and kick that guy's head in. But I'm not going to do that. What's the point, right? You've made your choice. I'm not it. You just... You don't understand. You know, there's just so much you don't understand. Yeah. Well, now I understand everything I need to know. <laughs> I understand that I don't know how long this has been going on. I can only imagine how long. But you've lied and you've cheated. And you've made a fool out of me. And in return, I gave you my heart. I gave you my trust and I gave you my hopes. I wish I could say something. Tell you what, you saved that for your mystery man in there. I'm leaving. Last chance, Alistair. You want to tell me who tried to kill you? I told you, Bennett. Not a word to you. Hmm. Refusing to cooperate is a chargeable offense. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Oh. <laughs> 
honey, don't worry. The killer would never come after you. Okay, I'm here to protect you, so you're safe, okay? Well, that doesn't mean you shouldn't be on your guard. I mean, you never know with criminals, you know, they, they don't always follow a pattern. If I were you, Vicky, I'd listen to your aunt. I don't think the killer will ever come after you. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to just walk away. Because even if I can't do magic, I mean, who knows what will happen? Being married to a witch could be very difficult. I know, it's too hard. I should have known. Would you stop? Look, loving you has never been easy. Gee, thanks. I'm trying to be serious here, okay? I don't want easy. Easy is boring. You are the most exciting woman I've ever met. I love you, and I love our daughter. I love you, too. Now, the magic and witchcraft is going to take some getting used to. What if Darren Stevens can do it? I think I can too. Nothing's gonna drag you away from me. I never felt so betrayed in my life. All these lost years. I don't know how it came to this. I'm sorry. Are you? And of course I am. I, look, no matter what, I, I'm always on your side. I appreciate that. I do, but I think you should go back to your car unless you want to see a grown man cry here, Gwen. Look, you know, it will be okay. It really will be okay. I'm sorry that... You're feeling the pain you're feeling right now, but don't you think in the long run it's better to know the truth? Ethan, maybe the woman that you loved all those years was, was just a figment of your imagination. Maybe she was. I just, I never would imagine that she could be so, so cruel to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> To know moments true, me, my hopes, my dreams, gone. Hey, Gwen and Rebecca, what? Because of me. No. I'm so sorry. I'm no, so Mama, sorry. you didn't see his face. I mean, I really, really hurt him. I mean, I had to, to break the heart of the man I love. Nice job, sweetie. Keep your mouth shut, Rebecca. No problem. My job here is done. Ethan is right where he belongs. In Gwen's arms. I lost him. He's never going to forgive me. <laughs> <laughs>